When muscle-stimulating bodywear is among the projects showcased at a London university, you can be pretty sure you're in the company of some very talented individuals. So, up. Oh, uh, so bizarre. And down. It's just like having pins and needles that yes. are really intense. <laughs> a 3D camera inside the specs helps him to visually separate objects. So I can see in front of me the table here with uh, tea cup. Do you feel confident enough to pour a cup of tea? I'll, I'll certainly have a go. Got the handle. Um, and Fantastic. Pouring. It's been a good week for Culture Minister Ed Vasey. The father of two got a promotion from the Prime Minister and he came joint fifth in the father's race at his son's school sports day. He even showed me the video. That's not sick. When David Cameron rung you up and told you that you'd be becoming the new Minister for Digital Industries. Did he actually outline what that meant? Yeah, he outlined uh, a whole range of responsibilities and I think um, what we're trying to do is bring some kind of coherence. While the psychological causes behind the illness can be varied and complex, there is an argument among some health experts that external factors such as inadvertent pressure from the media can also play a role. The school was due to take another group of students to Iraq this summer, including two female student ambassadors. But because of violence in the country and restrictions on travel, it meant they couldn't go. You mentioned the global capital there, but there are always a lot of comparisons being drawn, London and Silicon Valley. But in Silicon Valley, surely every week is a tech week. So why is it that London suddenly has to make a big old song and dance about it with London Tech Week? The beauty is that every week is a tech week in London as well but not everyone's aware of it. It's quite an expensive way to do it though, isn't it? I mean, it's a lot of taxpayers' money, essentially covering the cost of a massive networking event. But look at the awareness that's generated out of it. I'd like you to be straight onto, you know, your desk or your table at home. I would There's already a growing list of terms used by experts to refer to some of the conditions caused by our modern day devices. So apart from sitting upright in a chair, experts suggest keeping the tablet as near to eye level as possible. You could get a stand to help prop it up. Duncan's Kitchen is a haven for gadget lovers. Whether you want to froth, brew, juice or pulverise, he's got it all. This bad boy is a vacuum packer. A few years ago, a ban on tail docking was brought in. That's thought to be another reason why corgis are losing popularity. Some breeders believe that with the full length tail, corgis just aren't as desirable anymore. Well, joining me now is Karenna Nobbs, who's a senior lecturer here at the London College of Fashion. Um, Karenna, I suppose you have quite a role in creating the next generation of fashion designers. And given there's so much new technology now, is it hard to keep across that? Is it hard to teach that? It is definitely. It's still early days for this place, it's not even a year old yet and with more dry bars popping up across the UK, several of them backed by alcohol charities, could it be that our attitude to drinking really is starting to change? The competition doesn't get much tougher. It's at events like this where the team can find themselves up against players from South Korea for example, where gaming is pretty much a national sport and where the country's star players are earning six-figure salaries. I'm joined now by Chef Patron Simon Rogan and Executive Chef Dan Cox. Thanks for joining me, guys. No With such advanced technology, does any of it make your lives easier or does it actually complicate things from time to time? This time it's less about tech's influence on clothing and more about the display. Capturing the show on smartphones like they're doing here today is one way of experimenting with technology to see how it could change catwalk shows of the future. For one thing, it'll make them much more accessible to the people who can't make it to the venue. If there's one place where they know a thing or two about being posh, it's here in the town of Eton. Princes William and Harry went to school here, as well as 19 British Prime Ministers. But what do people here think of the idea that having a cut glass accent might actually not be as desirable as it used to be? This is Sky News with Gemma Morris. Good morning. There are growing concerns for the global economy with senior politicians in the United States warning it might be too late to sort out America's financial deadlock. Now let's bring you some breaking news now coming to us from Atlanta in the States concerning the execution of Troy Anthony Davis. He has now been put to death 
bilethal injection. It's due to speak for the first time in seven and a half years, Burma's pro-democracy leader Aung San Suu Kyi has arrived at her party's headquarters in Rangoon. Well, that's it for this week. We'll see you again for more Six of the Best next time. Have a good week. I'll see you then. Bye-bye.